Hi everyone, it's about 1.45 in the morning. I'm gonna do like a short little video um, uh, before I head to bed because I think it's super important and I wanna talk about it and give you all an opportunity to see it. If you have not heard, Dragula did a special, uh, two hour special available specifically to Shudder called Dragula Resurrection where they took seven queens from the past three seasons and gave them an opportunity to um, basically redeem themselves. And whoever won got $20,000 and a spot in Dragula season four. So there's a few queens from season one, which was great, season two, and then of course season three that just aired. Um, so if you have not seen it or have not ever seen Dragula, the show itself, I highly would recommend going and watching it. it the seasons two and three are on Netflix and uh, season one is on YouTube through Hey Queen. So if you get a chance, definitely do watch them because it's really awesome. I happen to really like um, alternative. It's something that, especially Dragula, because I love Halloween so much, um, getting to see spooky drag is like so fucking cool. And I just love what Dragula seeks to be. With Dragula Resurrection, I'm just going to be flat out and say that like, I obviously like didn't know what to expect. I didn't, I didn't know if it was going to be like a, just a all like all stars if you will um what instead happened was all seven queens were visited by the boule brothers all across the united states and they were given one week to come up with three different looks that matched a uh oh god uh witch ghost and a vampire they had a week to do it and uh they had to pre then present their looks and it was done completely from their own home which i thought was like a super fucking cool idea it kind of reminded me the series itself it reminded me of like a 70s grindhouse horror movie um just with like the the rusty messy messy like film film reels um the use of like filters to make it look like it was like a VHS or something like that. It was really cool. Um, if you have not seen Dragula before, um, a lot of the what you hear isn't really going to make sense if that makes sense, um, especially because within the two hours you do uh, get to hear a lot more of the stories of each of the girls rather than just like um, with only like a little bit of time dedicated to the actual like creation of the looks and then like the floor shows so that was super important but it is three looks um, and they split it up into three sections so that way you get to hear a little bit of the story of each of the girls and what they've been fighting for um, and then they go into the discussion of their look for each section and then they do the floor show and then at the end the boule brothers come back together um they review all the, the footage and then they discuss exactly their thoughts on it and then at the very end each queen received a videotape and the videotape either basically did not do a single damn thing for them meaning they won or they were killed by it via the ring uh or a la the ring which i thought was a really cool twist i'm not gonna say who won because i would highly encourage you to watch it um again i loved it it had stuff that even i was like fuck i would love to do that it'd be really great <laughs> so the first and foremost so i'm going to give you the top basically my favorite look from each section so that we can kind of get an idea of like what you're looking at again or at least put an idea in your head of exactly what i thought i happen to really like kendra onyx's witch look i just love that she took africa and used that as her basis for her look i just thought it was super cool um, i'm also going to give a shout out to to saint because hers looks really good as well like they both kind of fit exactly what i love in like witch style so that was really fun for ghost i would probably say my favorite one was probably going to be Oh, I think it was Dolly. Dolly went very abstract with hers as like a plant spirit. And she had like veins coming through her and it just like really stood out for me. And I was just like, this one was it. And then for the vampire, I'm gonna give it to Saint, specifically because I think Saint did something vastly different. Um, she did decided to go down kind of a more 60s like mod look. And again, it was vastly different and I thought it was really cool. They did do a lip sync to In the Next Life from Kim Petras off her album, Turn Off the, uh, turn off the light so that was really cool to see it and they actually all did it th uh, they lip synced in their vampire look and overall i loved it it was a fantastic way to do dragula 
in the age of COVID. So it was very smart. It was a very small crew. So that was super chill. And I could not have asked for a better uh, kind of appetite wetter, if that makes sense. So if you're into Halloween, you're into horror, and you want to see something very unique and vastly different, I would highly recommend going and getting like a seven, I think it's like a 30 day free trial of Shudder just to specifically watch Dracula Resurrection. Um, if you get a chance to watch it, leave in the comments down below what were some of your thoughts, what were some of your favorite looks. Um, and um, thank you for this quick little this quick little show and I will see you guys in the next haunt vlog. Bye guys!